hello guys welcome to this uh, live stream here and in this live stream i will basically show you a c sharp project in which we will actually be removing the background of images one by one batch processing we will do you will see inside my root folder we have four images out there one two three four it can be either jpg images or png images and uh, this is my c sharp program right here program.cs this is extension of c sharp i'm building it inside vs code so this is my actual program right here and actually what is doing what it is doing guys it is actually calling a python script which i have written which is my script.py which is actually removing the background of images and now it is simply calling it inside my c sharp code so inside our c sharp program guys we are actually calling our external python script so i will be showing you in this tutorial how you can achieve that for any uh, library you can use any python script you can use inside your c sharp application it will be very useful because a lot of third party packages are available in python and everything you can do in python so you can basically call any python script inside your c sharp program so in this specifically we are running this you can see we are actually calling this function run script and we are providing the name of the script which is my script.py so inside this function what we are doing we are providing the let me show you the demo here and then i will show you so four images are present right here if you see and now let me run this program.cs file so i will simply run this project and as the project runs guys it will actually in the left hand side it will create a output.images folder you will see that and automatically one by one it will remove the background you can see the background is removed automatically and it is actually calling the python script for each image and it is doing the batch processing so all the images are successfully processed here you will see that you can even open this images inside this you can see all the images have become transparent right here so background has been successfully removed right here so in this tutorial guys i will actually show you how you can achieve this using uh, c sharp and we will actually call a python script for doing this in the background and we will actually be using a library called as python net if you search for this package in c sharp python net this is actually a wrapper guys which you can use inside your c sharp application if you want to use any third party python script so this is their github page and uh, i will show you how to install this inside brand new c sharp project so if you need the full source code guys of this project if you have any sort of problem at the end of this live stream you can go to the description you can purchase the full source code with full directory structure and documentation and full source code you can go to paypal and make the payment in united state dollar or go to stripe and make the payment in indian rupees so both the payment links are given in the description of the video and now let's get started so i have already have dotnet installed on my computer guys so if you want to watch a video to set up c sharp in vs code you can watch my earlier video so you should have to have dotnet installed you can even make application in vs visual studio 2022 i have already installed this also but i will be using vs code vs code it's very much good so i have already installed this dot net utility so dot net it needs to be installed inside your command line so if you haven't you can watch my video to set up c sharp in vs code so now inside my directory here i will simply go to the projects directory here i will make a new project here so let me go to open a new directory here and simply i will call a command here to actually invoke a new project so this command will be dot net it will be a new console application so we will say new console dash n followed by your project name so let's suppose i call here remove background project so if you just enter it you will basically see it will create a project here the template console app was created successfully now you can cd into this remove background project and open it inside your vs code right here so this will be the directory structure guys it will show you the c sharp project we will have our program.cs file right here and uh, cs project file will also get created this bin folder will automatically gets created so this is actual directory structure of a console uh, c sharp program so if you want to run this you can simply run it and it will run 
print out hello world statement right here you will see hello world is printed out so now basically what we need to do guys we need to install this package which is python net so just go to your command line and invoke this command here which is if you want to add third party package you add this using dot net add package so we will be adding this package which is python net and then you need to provide the version number which is 3.0.3 let me zoom the command here and just see the dot net add package python net dash dash version 3.0.3 this is the actual command and if you enter it basically it will add this inside your cs project file just press enter and it will install this from nugget and if you open it now cs project it will add this line here python net and the version number so now yours is successfully installed and now what we can do is that we can actually make a simple python script here let's suppose i call that app.py and i define a main main function here and simply return here hello world from python script so this is actual python script that i've written guys and now i need to run this python script from my c sharp program so how we can do that it's very simple we will simply write here using python dot runtime and we will simply say we will define a new class or program and we will have the main function static void main string this is a very default program of c sharp guys if you have studied c sharp you will know that and inside our try block we will actually call a function which is run script and we will pass the name of the app is the name here put semicolon now we just need to define this function and inside catch if any sort of exception take place we can simply console right line uh, error if any sort of error take place so we can simply say x dot message and now we will simply define this method guys which will be static void and the name is run script so just put a semicolon here so basically it will take uh, this uh, string as argument here we are passing the script name so we are defining this function run script and uh, it will basically call this function and uh, inside this guys first of all what we need to do we need to set uh, the dd dll file of uh, of for your python so you should have python installed guys to run this so we will simply say runtime dot python dll so we need to provide this wherever your python is installed guys inside your machine you need to copy that path here first of all after adding the installing python you, you need to uh, add a two environment variables go to environment variables and add this so wherever this is the first python home if i show you here you need to add a new environment variable which is python home and just make sure wherever you have installed your python in my case i have installed it in this location and make sure that you install this version number which is 3.9.0 because it doesn't work with 3.1.0 so just install this version only of python and i have already made this python home environment variable so it will automatically detect this location and also one more environment variable you need to make which is python path this also just the same location just put the path just create these two environment variables before you run this and you will not face any prob problem if you don't create these variables then it will give you error so just make sure that you create these two environment variables and uh, after that i will simply copy that address just go to here so wherever i provided this path here if you just see i will simply copy this and paste it and after that there is basically a dll file available python 3 9 dot 
dll this is actual file we need to write here we are actually giving the path here so if you just copy this path here let me paste it inside my file explorer and let me show you which file i'm talking about so if you paste this so if it is located inside my users aces and if you see here which location we have pro app data so there will be a app data folder if you have installed it in a different location then you need to show hidden items so this will be app data so basically i have installed guys in this uh, location so we are simply giving the path here so so wherever you have installed your uh, it is typically available inside your c users aces so in my case there will be app data uh, folder where you will have your python installed or you can simply search here simply search python so right here you can open file location and simply open file location so you can see that so just go to app data folder local and then there will be a folder called as programs folder and then there will be a python folder and this is my python installed here 3.9.0 so here we are actually giving this python 3. python 39.ddl file this is the actual file we need to give path to c sharp program guys so it will actually link the library and we are simply giving this path here if you see right here after giving this path guys we are just need to execute that python scripts so after doing this we need to initialize the engine so what i will say python engine dot initialize it's a function just call it just make sure that you put semicolon after each line and here we will simply inside try catch block we will have initialize our python gil just call this function and inside this we will dynamic system we will import the system module by using py dot import system system is a basically a built in module of python so in this way you can import modules which are installed in python by using the import method inside your c sharp application and then you need to append whatever wherever you are developing your project so in my case i can simply go to file explorer copy this path wherever you are developing the project simply paste that path here this is very mandatory you need to do this if you don't do this you will get error after you do this we will simply now write here python script we will import basically the script name which is passed here in the function so you can see that so we will simply pass this whole script we will call this by using the import method and then in order to invoke a method inside in the python script we have declared a method here inside app.py which is main function so now to do this we will simply here so now to do this we will simply python script so it is needs to be python script and there is a invoke method and here we need to pass the method name which is main that's all this will actually execute it and store the result and we can console log the right line just console log whatever result is there so result that's all so also right here there is some kind of error is there so we need to write the finally block here and we need to shut down the python runtime engine whenever the execution is completed so we can simply say python engine dot shut down that's all just put a semicolon but this completes the application guys and here we, we are simply calling this python script let me run this file here click on run and if you see in the terminal 
it will actually run this in the console and uh, hopefully it will print out the result right here if all things are going well it is compiling it and uh, you will basically see hello world from python script is printed out hello world from python script and uh, so whatever you can change this value anything you can say and again run this file and uh, program.cs so here we are actually uh, calling the python script from a c sharp basically a free module which is used by developers so we are back guys some internet connection was there so you will see you just need to install this module which is pip install pip install rem bg this is actual module free module is there you don't need to include any api key simply install this after that i will just uh, write this python script i made a full tutorial on this topic guys in the previous tutorial on how we done this batch processing in python i made this full video on this topic i've written full code so if you haven't watched this video i've explained writing the script step by step so you can watch my tutorial on that topic where i write written this full script in details explaining each instruction so here ever we are using the same script right here we are actually detecting the images which are present in the root directory and then we are simply uh, removing the background and then creating a folder called as output underscore images and we are looping through each image and actually removing the background and then storing it inside the output path and once it is completed we are simply printing a line here that background removal is completed so if i just refresh the application now we will see that it will now actually call the script right here so you can see we are actually calling this main method at last so if you just run this now you will basically see there are no images present right here that's why it will not it will create the output images folder but the folder will be empty for this to work we need to uh, copy some images so what i can do is that i can go to this and copy some images so these are three images let me copy it cut this copy and paste let me paste these three images and again run this application if you see that if i click run project you will basically see in the left hand side it will one by one it will create a output images folder and it will remove the background here you will see that second image background removed third image background removed so in this way automatically it will close after it has processed all the images so you can see your background has been removed of these three images the quality you can see that and this is actually the project guys and now if you want to convert this into a exe file so that you can compile or bundle this project into a one single file you can do that also by using a command which will actually create a publish folder that you can so there is a command in .NET which is .NET publish dash c release dash r and then here you need to specify the uh, operating system you are building it for Linux, Mac or Windows. I am building it for Windows so I will provide here Win X uh, 32 or 64 I will provide 64 and dash dash self contained. So if you just execute this now and it will now contain basically create your publish folder inside uh, bin folder there will be a release folder and inside this publish you will basically see here there will be this exe file which will be created for you which is remove background project it's a application file which is created so in this way guys you can actually create a c-sharp project on removing background from images using python script and the whole source code is given in the description of the video and thank you very much for watching this live stream